What is going on everybody? DJ Waters 22 here and in today's video I'm going to be helping out new Diablo 2 players. Now I know with the rumored announcement that Diablo 2 is getting remastered there's going to be a lot of new players who are interested in playing in this upcoming ladder reset. I hope that this video can help some newer players get back into the game and just learn some little tricks that might help them. For our advanced players that might be watching I think that one or two of these might just surprise you and help you. Make sure that you watch the video all the way into the end. All right, so my first tip for you today is going to be creating a spirit. This is an early rune word, which can be found after normal difficulty. And today we'll be doing that in the cows. Why this is so incredible is because it gives two to all skills, 25 to 35 faster cast rate, 55% faster hit recovery, a lot of vitality, mana, and a few other things as shown on the screen. You can also create this out of a monarch, but that's going to be a little bit more advanced. But do keep in mind, eventually you can make this out of a shield. So here I'm going to be showing you what it would look like. Uh, this is a crystal sword, which is four open socket. I did have to socket that on my own, which we'll get into a little bit later. But firstly, we want to open up the secret cow level. The only way to open up the secret cow level is to first beat normal difficulty, then travel from Stonyfield to Tristram. If you look in the back of Tristram, you are going to find work. If you click on his corpse, he'll drop a leg, pick up that leg. You'll then want to grab a tome of town portal with a wart's leg. Transmute the two. This will now create the secret cow level. Be careful in here, especially if you're a newer player and you're lower level. But eventually you're going to find a crystal sword which is going to be a white item specifically you want to use a crystal sword only from the secret cow level there is another place but i wouldn't worry too much about that once you have that crystal sword travel to act five ensure that you've done the first quest in act five talk to larzuk add socket now my sword already has four sockets but i'm just showing you here what you would do next thing you want to do is take four runes tau thol or and am you have to put them in that specific order my next tip for you is going to be bugging your mercenary now what this is going to do is make it so you cannot be attacked by melee attacks here's his gear first thing you do is go to act one travel to the inner cloister this is right before the andario fight use the waypoint of course go to jail level three go back into the inner cloister trap him inside this door as shown he's behind that door and just run away really far when you run away really far eventually you just kind of wait for him to teleport once he teleports to you, he is now bugged. The only thing that can hurt your mercenary now is going to be ranged attacks. As you can see here, they completely ignore a mercenary. This is fantastic for ancients. This is great for any other thing that you want to use it for. Just keep in mind that you will be taking all the damage and your mercenary will no longer. The next tip I'm going to be giving you is how to heal your mercenary a lot quicker. Now you're probably used to dragging over your potions on your mercenary's icon, but fear not, there is a shortcut to save a lot of time. By holding shift and hitting right click at the same time, you actually heal your mercenary much quicker as shown here. This works for reduced mana and health potions. It should help keep your mercenary alive a lot longer. My next tip is going to be winning the Ancients fight. So what you want to do is travel to Act 5, go to the Ancient's Way Waypoint or whichever way that you have it. Once you spawn these minions, I suggest trying to read what's above their head. Obviously don't die, it's very dangerous here. But for example, if you're a fire user, you don't want too many fire immunes, just throw down a town portal and this will get all the minions off your back by resetting it. Especially in Nightmare and Hell, this becomes extremely useful. It can really get you out of a sticky situation by dropping that town portal. My next tip for you is going to be purchasing potions in bulk. So probably what you're used to is what's shown here, buying one potion at a time there is a much quicker way to do so i would suggest at least a two road belt all you have to do is pick up your belt put it back on purchase potions in bulk by holding shift and right click and repeating this process pick up your belt you'll put a lot into your inventory hold shift right click purchase your potions and continue this you'll be able to fill up your entire inventory in no time my next tip is going to be knowing how to get money so what we're going to be focusing on are wands or staffs you want these to have skills on them for example one to raise skeleton um, for a staff for the sorceress maybe it would be one to telekinesis something like that the more skills on it the more money you're going to get I wouldn't really waste your time on picking up a wand or staff that doesn't have skills so just keep that in mind for more money if you're looking for more damage and having difficulties with certain monster packs especially looking for aoe damage gas potions are one way to fix this problem this is fantastic damage especially in sticky situations when you need to get away all you need to do is throw down one potion in the area and over time the monsters will get destroyed in addition of course you can attack with your main skill and you will see a massive difference you often see speedrunners use this tactic in the forgotten tower in act one but it can really be used in the jail barracks anywhere else that you'd like this will greatly increase your survivability and overall your damage my next tip for you is knowing how to properly use antidote potions or at least how i would use them these antidote potions normally would probably just be used if you get poisoned 
but what I would suggest you do is use them before boss fights. Antidote potions specifically are going to be great before Act 1 when you're fighting in Dariel, especially if you have lower resistance. If you look here, I have 11 poison resistance. By using just one of these, it is significantly increased. This is great for all difficulties. Conversely, you're going to want to do the same thing with thawing potions. This is fantastic for Acts 2 and Act 5. I like to drink one or two of these before both Duriel and the Bale fight. They do stack on time, so you can keep that in mind. And then you also want to keep a couple more of them just for the actual fight. And once again, this will just help you with your survivability. My next tip is going to be purchasing a life tap or lower resist wand. You can just go to the merchants here in and out of town back and forth until you find the charges that you want. It's very important that you actually purchase something that says charges. If it says lower resist, but there's no charges, like a number as shown right here, it's not going to work for you. You can press W and swap this out with whichever skill that you like for your wand. I personally use this against Endaril, Mephisto, Bale, whatever I'm farming and whatever I want to kill a lot quicker. If your character doesn't have a lot of damage, this will greatly increase your damage output and just shred through enemies. This is also a very useful tactic that people use for speedruns, Nightmare, Hell, and normal players use this as well but especially if you just want to go one skill all ice all fire all whatever this will really change your character it's important to note that you will not find these wands in act one or act two for normal difficulty unless you're high enough level if you're not level 18 at minimum i wouldn't even look but probably better at level 24 and up to start shopping for these wands if you ever find yourself needing a specific resistance let's say 20 or 30 to lightning resistance i do suggest going to act five and speaking to the vendor anya you do have to do the quest to save anya your first but you can always go to Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4 and purchase other items. What I like to look for are the yellow boots because I know that they contain magic find. So you can get up to 35 magic find and in the 30s for lightning resistance or you can look around for something that you need, cold resistance, etc. It's a really nice combination. For X3, you're going to want a lot of lightning. For X4, you're going to want a lot of fire. So you can shop around. Um, and this will help you throughout the whole game until you actually do find some better gear. Note that from Anya, the strength requirement is 70. If that's too high for your character, feel free to go back to stack one, two, three, or four to find lower strength boots. I just personally like Anya because it's very convenient with the red portal. My next tip for you is how to quickly identify where the barracks is coming out of the outer cloister. So if you just want to imagine this big open area as a square, it depends on the position of the waypoint. If the waypoint is all the way on the right, you need to go to the opposite way. So up to the left as shown here, here you will see the exit. Now, if we look at our second position here, you can kind of see how the waypoints in the middle. Again, always imagining this as a square. If you see it in the middle, you want to go straight ahead. So I'll show you what straight ahead would be, which would be this direction. And there goes your exit for the middle waypoint. And finally, we will get our third option. This is where the waypoint is on the far left. You're going to go with the opposite way, which means you're going to go to your character's right. As shown here, this would be the right direction. And here's going to be the exit. Now, my next tip for you is going to be how to find Indario quickly. But if you take the waypoint from level two going to level three, generally go to your player's right. So if you look at your character's right shoulder here, just kind of hug that right wall. It's not always going to be there immediately. It was in this case, but generally just keep on the right wall. It could take a while. Note that's not a 100% chance that you will get it. But most of the time, more often than not, it'll be on your player's right. This only works from the waypoint going into level three. The same technique here is also what you're going to want to do to find Bale. You take the world stone waypoint in act five. And once again, we're going to go towards our characters, not our screens right side. And more often than not, it will be there. And thank you for making it to the end of this video, everybody. If you like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have been working on a new mini Diablo series. So if you haven't checked out that video, it should be around here somewhere towards the end of it. I'll also put it in the description. But basically, I'm creating a Diablo 2 series, a little mini series. We're using the character Fred right now. He's a simp. If you don't know what a simp is, definitely check that out. But I'm using the Diablo 2 characters from in-game and I'm voicing over them. And there's going to be a lot of cool things that we want to do with it. And I could really use some help with some graphic designers, people who can create fantastic uh, art either by drawing it or on the computer or however they can do that. I also need help with voice acting eventually. So if you have any voice acting skills, and maybe you know some some females that'd be great because i have a lot of female characters but i don't know any females that are willing to voice act so if you know any females that'd be great we have a very deep voice cinematic voice i don't know whatever you have let me know in the comment section below because i'm really looking for people to help me out with the series ladder reset is on the 5th of june and guys do not forget that i'm giving away 10 cd keys that's right 10 battle chests out of my own money 
Um, Blizzard's not helping. I wish they were. Blizzard, give me a give me a shout out, but no, they're not helping. So anyways, if you want to check that out, that is in our other video. The link for that will also be in the description. I love every single one of you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.